Hello everyone, uh, my name is Raja. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you about uh, the major roundabouts or the big roundabouts. Um, I'm going to explain to you um, how can you take the first exit, uh, second exit or the third exit. Um, and also how can you uh, approach in control manner. Um, how can you look out for the signs and uh, how can you look out for your surroundings? Um, if you one of those who struggle with the roundabouts, I hope that um, end of this video you will slightly understand or um, your understanding will get better about the roundabouts. Uh, if you have got any questions, please leave a comment in the comment box and uh, I will reply you back. Uh, for future videos, uh, kindly do subscribe my channel so it will give me more encouragement so I can upload more videos in the future. Thank you. In this video, I will be turning right fourth exit towards services. This roundabout has arrows painted on the road to guide me which lane I need to use. Because I'm turning right, I will need to be in a right lane as per the arrows painted on the road. I will need to check my mirrors and signal right when I'm approaching the roundabout so other road users will get the benefit of my signals. I will need to approach slowly. I must stress the importance of taking the advantage of an early view to the right side or, as I call it, glance early or make your decisions early and prepare to give way to any vehicles including cyclists and the motorcyclist coming from your immediate right. If there is no traffic coming from the right, it's safe to continue and there is no need to hesitate. It's important that I must for the lane discipline at all the time. You must check your mirrors and signal left once you pass the third exit. So other road users will know that I am taking the next turning left. In this video, I will be turning right third exit towards Lower Darwin. This roundabout has arrows to guide me which lane I will need to be for the right turn. Check the mirrors and signal to the right early so the other road users will get the benefit of my signal. I would keep to the right lane and I approach slowly. I must stress to take the advantage of look early to the right or glance early or make your decision early and prepare to give way for any vehicles including cyclists and the motorcyclist coming from your immediate right. If there is no traffic coming from the right then it's safe to continue and there's no need to hesitate. It's also important that once you leave the roundabout you must follow the lane discipline. Once you pass the second exit, you check your mirrors and signal left. And when it's safe, change the lane to the left to comply with the lane discipline. In this video, I will be going straight ahead second exit 
towards services. There's a signboard there which telling you that the second exit is straight ahead. Now it's important that you must look out for any signs or arrows painted on the road. There are arrows guiding me that I need to be on a left lane if I want to go straight ahead, second exit. As always, always approach slowly using your MSM routine and PSL routine. Make sure that give way to any cars coming from the right if there is any. If there is no car, you can carry on, don't need to hesitate. Once you pass the first exit, do your lane discipline, follow the left curb and then check your mirrors and signal down left so other road users will get benefit of your signal. In this video, I will be turning left first exit as guided by the lane markings on the road. I will be approaching using MSM and a PSL routine and approach slowly on the roundabout. Be prepared to stop if there is any car coming from the right. If there is no car coming, then carry on driving, there is no need to hesitation.